Good morning, everybody. So we got some Yankee stuff here, right? And first of all, I want to thank everybody who joined me last night on the live stream. There was no game, but I had a little bit of a vent session. People venting their frustrations, clearing out the air. And I wanted to address some confusion about a video that I put out yesterday morning. If you haven't seen it, put out a video about <clears throat> that was posted about um, Jason Dominguez and a scout calling him out for not hustling and a couple other scouts that go in the same sentiment. Yeah, it was from 2022, but nevertheless, it still happened. So a lot of people got upset about it. I understand. You know, we're a passionate Yankee fan base, but I do not I do not want to take part in adding to the impression that every Yankee is, you know, uh, uh, okay to criticize except for Jason Dominguez. Nobody gets a free pass here, okay? Everybody's justifiable. And again, I'm happy to see Jason Dominguez playing better. I'm happy to see him hustle. When he comes up, I'll be cheering for him just like everybody else. Okay. But you know, I wanted to make that point yesterday. And again, <clears throat> I'm not going to apologize for doing it. As I always said from the, from the beginning, you're going to get the facts here one way or the other, whether they agree with me or whether I agree with them or not. Okay. There's no agenda here. It's just facts. You don't do narratives and all that stuff. You get the facts. And I give you the facts because I want you to be able to decide. <clears throat> you know, based on good information, how you feel about a situation, what you think about it. Now, I'm not going to deprive you of one side of the story while only giving you the, the other side that I like, that other people prefer. I'm not going to do that, okay? We deserve better than that. So I thank everybody that came on. And if you haven't seen it yesterday, take a look at it. I attached it, and you can see. You know, you, you, let me know what you think. And, uh, but I do, I, I mean, with that point, there's reporting that the Yankees front office right now, and is there not, of course, no names are being, uh, you know, name, name dropped or whatever. The Yankees front office is, and the executives are fighting over whether to call up Jason Dominguez or not. It sounds like half of them want him up, half of them are resisting. And again, <clears throat> we don't know who. Okay, we can assume, and it's easy to blame Brian Cashman for everything, but we don't know. So... But that's happening right now, okay? And that stinks because at the end of the day, we do want them to play the best team possible and make a deep run in the postseason. And we need to decide whether he's going to be part of that, you know, and if he's going to be better than the better players. A lot of folks feel that he's automatically uh, better than Alex Verdugo. Well, <clears throat> he might be better than Verdugo in the minors, but he's got to prove it up in the majors. So and I hope people understand that, and this is which is why it's important to – once we get him up here, to let him play on a regular basis, to give him time to adapt, right, <clears throat> and figure out whether it's a, a smart idea to do that. But keep in mind, if you're going to play him, that means Grisham sits. That means Verdugo sits. I understand, you know, the vibe was talked about a couple of days about Verdugo not hustling and so on and so forth, and being, you know, angry that the, uh, that Aaron Boone, the manager, defended him, saying he's not 100% and so on and so forth. Well, if you remember a few days before that, he crashed face first into the wall hustling after a play. So, and he also banged up his leg. He was holding his knee. That I remember. I saw it. And I, and I hope that you all did too. Because that's part, that's part, I'm guessing, that's part of why Aaron Boone said what he said. But again, you know, right after the games happen, I go live, so I don't watch the Yankees post games. I watch the games. Okay? So, I listen to what people tell me. And then if it's, you know, eye-opening or something like that, and then I'll do my homework. And this is why, you know, I put out stuff on a regular basis. I, I do my homework. I do my research to make sure that the information that I'm putting out is accurate. This is why I attach articles because I want you to see what I'm talking about is actually has some validity to it, validity to it, despite what people say. Like yesterday, you're saying, well, this article is from 2022. Well, yeah, it is, but it doesn't make it less true. And also... You know, people are still talking on my channel about the Joey Gallo trade and the IKF trade and Josh Donaldson. That stuff happened in 2021, 2022 also. There's really no difference between the two. Okay? And that's what I'm talking about here. I, got, I, I call it both ways. Whether people like it or not, whether I like it or not. <clears throat> okay? This is why people get, you know, it, people get a voice. Okay? We don't always agree. And I like it that way, actually. It's good. Because it motivates me to think... Why somebody's saying what they're saying. Why somebody feels the way they do. That lets me put myself in your shoes if I can. 
as you sometimes, you folks, make a lot of valid points. And it's important to say that. It's important to acknowledge that. It's important to give credit where it's due. So, but with that said, Yankees front office is haggling. Now, if I get any more clarity on, you know, who wants them up and who doesn't want them up, I'll get it to you. So make sure whatever you do, to make, if you haven't done that, subscribe to this channel. Make sure you do that. And the notification as well. The notification button will make sure that you know exactly when we go live. And if you want to join the discussion, you can. Or when I put news out, especially if it's breaking news and whatnot, you'll be at the front of the line when it comes to. So, and I thank you so much for it. And for those that don't know, if you're a football fan, I'm going to be covering football too in the off season. So I'm going to add, adding it to the baseball right now, since we're kind of transitioning from the end of the baseball season to the beginning of football season. And, you know, congratulations to the Chiefs for winning their first game last night against the Baltimore Ravens. That was a pretty good game. Um, but I'll be covering the Jets, the Giants, and the Bills. So come along for the ride. If you have any football, you know, friends who are football fans, you know, invite them to subscribe to the channel because we're going to talk about them all. Okay, there's going to be no dry spots here. Generally, when the season ends, it's a little bit of a dry spot, and then wait for free agents and blah, blah, blah. No dry spots now. I'll be covering football. And along the way, when baseball news comes out, you'll get that too. I will not be ignoring baseball news in favor of football news. I'm going to be doing both. So get ready. Okay. The other piece of news I have for you is uh, John Sterling, for, uh, recently retired Yankees beat, uh, booth expert, booth voice, is going to be coming back into the booth for the postseason calling the Yankees playoff games for WFAM. To me, that's great. <clears throat> There's way too much <clears throat> Mets bias, I think, on at WFAM. So I, I like what he did there. And he's an OG, so he's coming back to call – Yankees playoff games, which is absolutely fantastic. And again, I'm moving as as a be there, um, which is which is fantastic, and, I, and that excites the heck out of me. You know, he's a great Yankee. He's a great Yankee reporter, and you know, I love his energy and I love his calls, and I hope that you do too. So that's what I have for you right now. Okay, we'll be back later when the lineup comes out. And again, you know, we'll always clear things up here. Always want to make sure that the information that we have is accurate. And it's so totally okay for people to get upset and frustrated and stuff. I want to make sure that people are getting frustrated at the right information. For missing valuable information, that to me, that to me is a problem. And I don't want I don't want that to happen to all of you. You deserve the best the best here. So and that's my goal to give to you. So I appreciate you all. Keep coming on. Keep giving your voice making your voices heard in the live streams. It's a lot of fun. Okay. And we have back and forths, and sometimes we need it. This is a feisty fan base, a passionate fan base. That's okay to have all of our voices heard. Okay, and again, you know whether we like information or not, it's still information. The facts are the facts, and that's okay. And the facts generally counteract talking points from other places, and they counteract propaganda. So, and it generally does upset people, which is why I make it a point to not regularly interject politics into this channel, because that's. You're talking facts versus propaganda all the time. So, not a fun conversation. But <laughs> besides the point, let me know what your thoughts are. And who do you think wants uh, Dominguez down? Who do you think wants him up? Okay. And are you happy that Sterling's coming back to the booth? I know I am. Have a good day, Yankee fans. See you later.